Hi all, this is a complete guide for Grady Pratt's part of the Family Butler achievement. Timestamps will be in the description, so you can easily jump to the fight you want. Most of these fights can be RNG due to the first pet Delta casting its abilities randomly, so expect to take a few tries. First up is Hobbyist Aquarist. This can be RNG, so may take a few tries. Your first pet is Muck Breath, or similar pet, with Rip, Surge, and Blood in the Water. Your second pet is a Barrier Hermit, with Scratch, Mudslide, and Headbutt. And finally, a soft shell snapling or similar pet with bite, shell shield, and headbutt. Start with rip, followed by blood in the water, and then surge until Delta is defeated. Delta casts its abilities randomly, so the amount of damage you will take will vary. Once Delta is defeated, Scars enters, cast Rip, followed by Blood in the Water, and then Surge if still alive. This all depends on what health you have remaining. You might hit with one, two, or all three abilities, or none at all. Here I just hit with Rip. Once defeated, bring in your Barrier Hermit. Cast Mudslide. and then use Scratch until Scars is defeated. Just pass the undead round. Once Scars is defeated, Little Blue enters. Use Headbutt on cooldown, Mudslide on cooldown, and Scratch to fill until if and when your Barrier Hermit is defeated. If your Hermit is defeated, your Soft Shell Snapling or Alternative Pet enters. Cast Shell Shield if Bone Barrage is active, otherwise use Headbutt and Cooldown and Bite to fill until the fight is done. As mentioned, this can be RNG, so may take a few tries. Next up we have Beast Mode. This one can again be RNG and will probably take a few tries. Your first pet is a Zandalari Ankle Render with Hunting Party, Primal Cry, and Black Claw. Your second pet is a Warg Pub, with Flurry, Crouch, and Dazzling Dance. And finally, any level 25 beast pet with Rampage. Start with Primal Cry. Followed by Black Claw. And then Hunting Party. If your Ankle Render is defeated before Delta, then restart. Once Delta is defeated, Scars enters. Start with Primal Cry, and then Black Claw if possible, or until defeated. Once your Ankle Render is defeated, bring in your Walk Pub. Start with Crouch, and then use Flurry until Scars enters its undead round. Once Scars enters its undead round, cast Dazzling Dance. Once the undead round is finished, Little Blue enters. Use Flurry until defeated. Once your Wog Pup is defeated, your Ashmore Cub or similar pet enters. Just cast Rampage. The first or second round should finish off Little Blue. Now for critters with huge teeth. This one again is heavy on RNG, but will usually work within a few tries. Your first pet is a roach with survival and apocalypse. Your remaining two pets are rabbits, both with a speed above 330, and both with flurry, dodge, and burrow. 
Start with Apocalypse. Now swap out your first rabbit. Start with Dodge. Followed by Flurry. Then Burrow. Now just use Dodge and Cooldown and Flurry to fill until Delta is defeated. If your first rabbit is defeated, bring in your second rabbit and follow the same priority. Once Delta is defeated, Scars enters. Use Dodge and Cooldown and Flurry to fill until Scars enters its undead round. Once in the Undead round, cast Burrow. Once the Undead round is finished, Little Blue enters. Apocalypse should only have a round or two before it hits. Use Dodge and Cooldown, Burrow on Cooldown or just pass. If your Roach is the active pet, just cast Survival. Once Apocalypse hits, you should win the fight. Next we have Dragons make everything better. Again, this one can be very RNG, depending on what abilities Delta uses, but should work within a few tries. Your first pet is Emi Gosa, with Claw, Arcane Storm and Ice Tomb. Your second pet is a Stormborn Weltling, with Frost Breath, Mana Surge and Arcane Storm. And finally, Criminius, with Bite, Howl and Surge of Power. Start with Emi Gosa and cast Ice Tomb. Then Claw. Followed by a second Claw. Ice Tomb will now hit and stun Delta. Cast Arcane Storm. Delta will swap out for Scars, who will then be hit by this. Cast Claw until defeated. Once defeated, bring in your Stormborn Weltling. If the Arcane Storm Weather Effect is active, cast Mana Surge. If the Weather Effect isn't active, then cast Arcane Storm, followed by Mana Surge. This should finish off Scars. Once Scars is defeated, Delta will re-enter if still alive, otherwise Little Blue enters. Use Arcane Storm and Cooldown and Frost Breath to fill until your Stormborn Weltling is defeated. Once defeated, your Criminius enters. If Delta is still alive, use Bite to finish it off. If Little Blue is the active pet, cast Howl, followed by Surge of Power. This should finish off Little Blue. As mentioned, this one is quite RNG, so will probably take a few tries. Next is Element of Success, again RNG, will probably take a few tries. Your first pet is a tiny snowman, with Snowball, Call Blizzard and Deep Freeze. Your second pet is a Jade Tentacle, with Scratch, Photosynthesis and Entangling Roots. And finally, an Unstable Tendril, with Deep Burn, Scorched Earth and Elementium Bolt. Start with Call Blizzard. Followed by Deep Freeze. Delta will be stunned. Bring in your Jade Tentacle. Delta swaps out for Scars. Use Scratch until Scars enters his undead round.
on Scar's Entesis on Dead Round, cast Photosynthesis. When the Undead Round finishes, Delta comes back in, cast Entangling Roots, and then scratch until defeated. You may get one, both, or none of these off. Once defeated, bring in your Tendril. Start with Scorched Earth, and then use Deep Burn until Delta is defeated. Once Delta is defeated, Little Blue enters. Start with Elementium Bolt. And then use Deep Burn until defeated. Once defeated, your Snowman re enters. Cast Cold Blizzard, followed by Deep Freeze, and then Snowball if needed. Now for fun with flying, your first pet is Iggy, with Savage Talon, Black Claw and Flog. Your second pet is a Die Big Hatchling, with Falcosaur Swarm, Iron Skin and Predatory Strike. And finally, a Snowfeather Hatchling, with Falcosaur Swarm, Crouch and Predatory Strike. Start with Iggy, cast Black Claw, followed by Flog. The second round of Flock should finish off Delta, Scars enters, and is hit by the final round of Flock. Once Flock is finished, cast Savage Talon two times to take advantage of the Shattered Defense's debuff. If still alive after the two Savage Talons, cast Flock. Once Iggy is defeated, bring in your Dive Ig. If there's a Shattered Defense's debuff active on Scars, start with Predatory Strike, then Iron Skin. I'll start with Iron Skin, then Falcosaur Swarm and Predatory Strike. Once Scars is defeated, Little Blue enters. If a round of Falcosaur Swarm hit Little Blue and it has a Shattered Defense debuff active, then use Predatory Strike. Otherwise, start with Falcosaur Swarm, followed by Predatory Strike, and then use Falcosaur Swarm until if and when defeated. If defeated, use your Snow Feather to clean up. Next we have Human Resources. The RNG here can be frustrating, but persevere, it will eventually work. Your first pet is a Helper, with Ice Lance, Cold Blizzard and Ice Tomb. Your second pet is an Anubisaf Idol with Crush, Sandstorm and Rupture. And finally, a second helper with Ice Lance, Cold Blizzard and this time Gift of Winter's Veil. Vale. Start with Ice Tomb. Followed by Cold Blizzard. and then Ice Lance until Delta is stunned by Ice Tomb. Once Delta is stunned, continue to Ice Lance. Delta will swap out for Scars, and will then be hit by this. Cast Ice Lance until defeated. Once defeated, bring in your Anubis Staff Idol. If Scars is at or below 444 health, cast Rupture, otherwise cast Sandstorm followed by Rupture, and then use Crush until Scars is defeated. Once Scars is defeated, 
Delta re-enters, use Sandstorm on cooldown, Rupture on cooldown, and Crush to fill until Delta is also defeated. Once Delta is defeated, Little Blue enters. Again, follow the same priority with your idol. Sandstorm on cooldown, Rupture on cooldown, and Crush to fill until if and when defeated. If your idol is defeated, your remaining helper enters. Start with Gift of Winter's Veil, followed by Cold Blizzard, and then Ice Lance until the fight is done. As mentioned, the RNG here is wide ranging, so expect it to take a bunch of tries. Now for Magician's Secrets, your first pet is an enchanted pen with Quills, Evanescence and Foreboding Curse. Your second pet is Willy with Tongue Lash, Eye Blast and Rot. And finally, any level 25 Mana Fiend with Surge of Power and Arcane Storm. Start with Foreboding Curse, followed by Evanescence. and then Quills until Delta is defeated. If your pen was defeated by Delta, then restart. Once Delta is defeated, Scars enters. Start with Foreboding Curse, followed by Evanescence and then Quills until defeated. Once your pen is defeated, bring in Willy. If Scars are still alive, use Tongue Lash if Foreboding Curse is still active, otherwise start with Eye Blast then Tongue Lash until Scars is defeated. Just pass the undead round. Once Scars is defeated, Little Blue enters. Start with Rot. Then Tongue Lash until if and when defeated. If Willy is defeated, your Mana Fiend enters. If Little Blue has less health than the damage of Surge of Power, cast it. Otherwise, start with Arcane Storm, followed by Surge of Power. Next up is Machine Learning. Your first pet is a Dark Moon Tongue, with Missile, Minefield, and Iron Cannon. Your second pet is an Iron Starlet with Wind Up, Power Ball, and Supercharge. And finally, a Dark Moon Zeppelin with Missile and Decoy. Start with your Tongue and cast Minefield. Followed by Missile until Delta has less than 1098 health. Should just be one. Then use Iron Cannon. This should finish off Delta, Scars enters, and it's hit by Minefield. Use Missile if possible after your Tonks recharge turns, but this is unlikely to hit. Once your Tonk is defeated, bring in your Iron Starlet. Start with Wind Up to charge. Then Power Ball until Scars enters his undead round. When Scars enters his undead round, cast Supercharge. Once the Undead Round finishes, Little Blue enters. 
cast wind up to hit. This should finish off little blue, unless your starlet was defeated early, as shown here. If this happens to you, your zeppelin enters, cast decoy, and then just spam missile until the fight is done. And finally, not quite dead yet. Your first pet is a Black Breath, with Slime, Toxic Smoke, and Bash. Your second pet is a Son of Seth, with Plague Blood, Touch of the Animus, and Drain Blood. And finally, a Ryzen Saber Kitten, with Pounce and Screech. Start with Black Breath, and cast Bash. Follow this with Toxic Smoke. Delta will swap off his scars, who will then be hit by this. Now simply use slime on cooldown and toxic smoke to fill until scars enters his undead round. Once in the undead round, cast Toxic Smoke. Once the undead round is finished, Delta comes back in. Cast Bash, should be off cooldown. If your Black Breath was defeated before this, just restart. Delta will swap off a little blue. If your Blight Breath was still alive, cast Toxic Smoke, followed by Slime, until defeated. Once your Blight Breath is defeated, bring in your Son of Seth. Depending on Little Blue's health, try to save Touch of the Animus for when Delta comes back in. However, here Little Blue was full health, so I started with Touch of the Animus, followed by Plague Blood, then Drain Blood, and now Plague Blood until Little Blue is defeated. Once the little blue is defeated, Delta re-enters. Use Touch of the Animus on cooldown, Drain Blood on cooldown, unless your Son of Seth is in its undead round, and play Blood to fill until if and when defeated. If your Son of Seth was defeated, your Ryzen Saber Kitten enters. Start with Screech. Then use Pounce until the fight is done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching.